how to create an online course in only 60 minutes okay so you want an online course why because you have to nowadays almost don't you i mean to really get business especially if you're doing consulting or coaching or you know trying to sell your services they need to see that you have some talents they need to see that you've got some knowledge um, gone are the days where you could just put up a flashy website and people would just hand you money because you had a cool website anybody can have a cool website now as a matter of fact i i worry when people have websites that are too cool mine's not that cool it's okay but my content's good and that's what really counts and that's why you need a course also think about it by doing a course you kind of erase any doubt that you know anything about something when you have a course people are like well my guy that guy wrote the course on that um, i wrote a book on the great american food shortage in 2016 and it was all about how a illness could hit the world and we could have interruptions in our food supply and people thought it was crazy but you know what it made me an expert in that area and i own a company that sells survival food and guess what they both benefited from that now if that was a course it probably would have been even better but at the time i didn't have a course um, so i did the book and the book did really well and now uh, you need a course because now it can make you an expert in whatever you do so to do this quickly really all you have to do is go through these 10 steps and you can plan all this out in about 60 minutes so let's go ahead and go through the steps the first one is pick the perfect course title how are you going to do that you're going to use tubebuddy you're going to use tubebuddy because it's below in the description you can get an absolutely free edition of tubebuddy it's great software it'll help you pick your title now it is used to pick youtube titles but it can certainly be used for your course title it will show you how well that actual course title will rank so that's the first thing you want to do is pick your course title make sure it's seo'd perfectly number two ensure that your course is something that people are interested in now how are you going to know this you're going to know this because you're going to go into social media and you're going to start putting that information in there and see how many people are talking about it are there facebook groups that are centered around this subject are people writing blogs about this when you google this particular subject do you find a lot of stuff if so don't say oh my gosh there's too much competition say oh my gosh that's great there's an interest in this that's how you're going to ensure that your course is actually going to be marketable number three create magnetic outcomes so when you say hey this course is for facebook ads um, after that you want to put something along the lines of how anybody even a beginner can start with facebook ads and be wildly successful in only 48 hours or whatever it is you want to put something out there that is the result of what they're going to get from the course nobody wants your course i will tell you that up front nobody wants your course they want the results of what they can get from your course number four select and gather the course content now this is the part where people spend way too much time on it way 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 too much time you just want to go out there and get the information you need to complete your course if you continue to look you will continue to find more and more things the course cannot be uh, a month long or a year long okay it probably needs to be a certain number of modules and maybe four or five videos in each module and maybe they're five or ten minutes give or take that's all it really takes but you can outline all of this and do all this and set all this up in about an hour which is pretty simple to do so go out there and get the content that you're going to have in the course and get it organized number five structure your modules and course plan now the best place to do this by far is Kartra I will put a link in the description below for Kartra you can go there and watch a video and all that it'll do it's also an email platform a sales page platform a sequence platform and tagging people it does all kinds of stuff but one of the things it does is it does great courses it helps you organize great courses it has built-in templates in there all you have to do is fill it out all you have to do is put how many modules you're going to have and then you can start adding your videos or whatever type of training audios that you're going to have in your actual course so Kartra is the place to do it when you watch the video down there with my link you can also get a trial for only one dollar so you'll want to check that out too number six determine the most effective and engaging ways to give people your content so it could be videos it could be in pdfs it could be in audios uh, it could be in downloads uh, you may have a test in there all these things that i'm mentioning you can actually do in kartra um, i like to do voice over screen where i'm showing the screen and i'm walking them through everything i don't necessarily need to be on screen when i'm instructing somebody if i'm just talking to them one-on-one -on -one, that's one thing but if i'm showing them how to do things i want to put those points up on the screen if they hear me say it they'll remember some of it if they hear me say it and see it on a screen those same words they're going to remember a lot more of it that doesn't mean that you want to put everything you're going to say on a screen just some bullet points 
point reminders of what you want to tell them on the screen and then get all that organized so you should be able to get all of that done in under 60 minutes you're set up you're ready to go number seven is when you're gonna really have to start working okay this is when you're gonna have to start shooting your videos now what I like to do is I like to have a bunch of uh, PowerPoints and those PowerPoints make different types of uh, points about my course and teach different things and I may have six or seven PowerPoints something along those lines now in those PowerPoints maybe I'm gonna have 15 16 different screens and then what I do is I take four or five of those screens and I talk over them and that becomes a video and that video generally is going to be anywhere from five to ten minutes long that's what I like to keep mine I found that if you do anything shorter they don't feel like they got good content and I feel like if you do anything more than ten minutes they get a little worn out if you do these five or ten minute chunks what it allows them to do is feel like they got some accomplishment they can sit down for an hour and a half and go through six or seven of your videos and really feel like they accomplished something if you are to do a 45 minute video or an hour long video they may not even finish that first video they they, they need that sense of accomplishment so giving them some short ones up front four five six minutes something like that to get through makes them really feel like they're getting something out of it and they're making some headway and they'll continue through your course you're going to need to edit these things and I would tell you probably the best editing software is Camtasia it's not the only one out there I have Final Cut Pro of course I've got iMovie uh, because I have Apple products and if you've got a PC you're gonna have Movie Maker but Camtasia is so good because you can bring images in there you can bring uh, music in there you can bring uh, animations in there you can do just so many things in Camtasia uh, and I really like it I will have a link below uh, it's my affiliate link so if you click on that link down there you get some type of special deal click on it you'll see what it is uh, but I really like Camtasia all of my videos I use Camtasia to edit the videos so if you like the style of our videos and what we do that's because we use Camtasia but you do have to have some type of editing software um, you can use a free one like I said you can use iMovie from Apple or you can use movie maker from uh, Microsoft however uh, Camtasia is really a good one if you want to have a really well put together course and you want to have some really good editing tools I highly recommend Camtasia check out the link below now where you put your course is up to you I prefer putting my course uh, in a place where I have control over it and that would be in Kartra and the reason I like it in Kartra is because as they go through the course I can send them targeted emails like they finished this module I can say congratulations on finishing this module here uh, and here's your certificate or if they finish an entire course and I have another course that's related to it I can say hey I saw you just finished this course I've got this other course that's related I think you'd really enjoy it click here to get the details about that course so I can do something along those lines but if you don't want to host it yourself you don't have any marketing skills you don't know where your business is going to come from you may want to look at some other platform some course type platform that you could go to like Skillshare or something along those lines um, to put your courses there but I like it because I already have a list so I can actually market to my own group and keep all the money if you put it on one of these other sites you're gonna to have to share your money with somebody else uh, which is not something I want to do number nine set your price now this is where a lot of people really struggle because they try to you know base the price of their course on how much effort they put into it and after you get through those first steps that take you like 60 minutes to set up your course uh, and then you get into editing and making videos and all that the stuff that takes a little bit more time you say oh my gosh my time is worth so much money this is gonna have to be a five thousand dollar course well I would suggest you look in the market first and see what similar courses are selling for understand you're not gonna sell it once you can sell your course to as many people as you want that's why you're doing a digital online course is because you have that availability to sell it to a lot of people now I've got some courses that I put hundreds of hours into that I sell for $27 but it's continuity where they pay $27 a month so every month I get those $27 a month payments so if you've got a hundred people paying you 27 bucks that's $2,700 a month if you have a thousand it's $27,000 a month so don't worry so much about that the other direction people go when they do pricing is they charge way too little they say I want to charge $19 for my course and you know it's 45 videos well that's way too little you so you want to really go in the market see what everybody's charging out there um, and your value is probably a lot higher than what you realize it is but the thing you can do is you can charge two or three different prices and see which one sells the most and then make your decision based on that
number 10 launch your ongoing marketing and yes i said ongoing marketing as soon as you stop marketing you will stop selling that's how that works now we have email sequences set up to my list so that when new people come into the list we start marketing those courses to them because um, i know it's going to help them out i know it's going to be good for them but it's all automated you also got to decide are you going to run ads to the thing are you going to have a launch are you going to involve affiliates maybe you'll want to put your course on something like clickbank now that is not a place where you host your course that is a place where you actually sell your course and you get affiliates to sell it for you also so maybe that's a avenue that you want to pursue so there's a lot of different ways of marketing your course maybe you want to do social media maybe you want to talk about your course on a video on youtube like i am right now because there's a course below that you can actually get absolutely free it's a 97 dollars course you'll see the link to that in the description down there just as a little bonus for listening to the end of this video um, so what what are you going to do plan that out do you have social media do you already have a following do you have an email list that you could email about your new course that would be a great place to start because it costs you zero really uh, if you're already paying an email provider if you don't have an email provider you want to get Kartra Kartra is also an email provider and the link to Kartra is in the description below you want to click that link and when you go to it it's going to play a video of all the stuff it does and i can almost promise you if you watch the video you're going to want this software i mean uh, and the the cool thing is with my affiliate link you can get the software for only one dollar so that's pretty cheap so that's basically it i've done a lot of courses so if you have any questions about courses you can put any of your questions below in that comment section i'll be happy to answer those for you uh, if you've already done a course or you're in the middle of it you're having issues put those questions below i'll be happy to come back and answer those for you also don't forget if you haven't done so to subscribe make sure you ring the bell turn on all bell notifications so you're notified every single time i do a new video that way you don't miss out now if that button there that subscribe button's red it's trying to warn you it's trying to warn you that you have not subscribed yet you've got to do that and just because you subscribe you won't know i did a video unless you turn on the bell notifications that's how youtube works and the other thing you could do for me which would really help out is give me a thumbs up click that thumbs up button down there let everybody know you like the video and that will share this video out to more people thank you so much for watching this video i really appreciate it and i'll see you in the next one Hey, thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell right there so you can be notified every time I do a new video. Also, click on one of those videos there. Keep watching on my channel.